Hi, I'm Hugh McNally and we're in my workshop here. Today we're going to do a little video about my CNC machine. Um, the reason I want to do this video is part of a whole focus around how I portray my guitars and how I communicate with my customers. I really want McNally guitars to be open and honest about the methods and the processes that I use and CNC is one of those and I want to talk today about what I use it for, why I use it, why I think it's better for certain things, why I know it's not better for certain things um, and really it's just about giving the customer as much information to make an informed decision that they can. CNC is one of those things that I think has become unnecessarily controversial over the years. Um, sometimes I, what I think about CNC is it's not really the customers who've pushed this. Sometimes I think it's actually other guitar makers that have pushed this controversy. Um, maybe guitar makers that aren't interested in this technology and, and don't want to go down that path, that's obviously their decision. But maybe there's a lack of understanding there about what, what the machine is good for and how it can be utilised. Uh, what can also happen is that some makers can be daunted by CNC and it, it is a daunting task, I'll fully admit that the two biggest learning curves probably for me in guitar making have been CNC and CAD and CAM and, and designing and making the programs for this machine but also then spraying guitars that's probably been the, the one of the bigger learning curves for me as well but we'll, we'll also do a separate video about spraying. You might actually be surprised about the guitar makers who do use this technology as well because there's actually a lot of them out there that use it but maybe necessarily aren't volunteering the information quite in the same fashion as this. Um, but I'll talk you through the parts that I make on this machine. Um, one of the first ones, for instance, is the neck block. So this is machined um, to accept the fixings that will hold the neck. It also has the pocket for that as well. So the, the machine excels at this kind of accuracy and, and repeatability, which is actually a really important factor as well. Consistency, repeatability is something that is very important, especially when you work with dealers in the guitar world. And I think you'd be surprised how often people go into shops having tried a guitar and they say, I want that guitar. <laughs> I want the same guitar as that. A lot of people are daunted by the custom guitar world and, and worried that they might order something and it might arrive and be very different to what they tried and very different to what they expected. So employing a degree of consistency is, is a really beneficial factor that can actually be achieved with these machines as well. What I also use this machine for is doing the bulk machining on my necks. Um, you can see here, this, this is actually a reject neck, it has a few pinholes so I'm not going to use it. But it, it does this first face which accepts the truss rod and has location holes for the fretboard which is a really important part that we'll talk about as well. But it, it gets rid of about 80% of the wood that just isn't going to be used. And what I do with the machine is I'm leaving that other 20% that I'll come in and still do by hand. I'll still final shape the neck. So for instance, here's a neck that's, that's been assembled. Um, you can see it's still all heavy on all the edges. It's, the volute still hasn't been carved. The only thing that's really the right size here is the fingerboard and the neck will be tailored to that. One of the parts then that the CNC really excels at is the fretboard. Um, I'm sure as most people know that the location of the frets is, is really, really paramount to how in tune the guitar sounds and plays. So being able to use the 0.1 millimeter accuracy of a CNC, and in this case with a 0.6 millimeter cutter to cut these slots, it really does improve the guitar. Um, you have to ask yourself as a customer, you know, are, are you okay with that or are you absolutely sure that you want a guitar maker who's sitting doing this by hand with the saw? Um, and I, I used to do that as well and it, it can work perfectly well also, but when this technology is available, it makes sense to me to use it. I, I want to explain how that sort of falls into my principles of guitar making. I'm not a guitar maker who's boxed in by maybe the term handmade. Um, I've always gravitated to and employed the methods and processes that, for me at least, just make the best guitar. That's, that's really all I'm interested in, is how can I make the best guitar and also make it, hopefully, at a reasonable price for people. 
and, and a sturdy guitar that will last and sound good and be beautiful. That's, that's really all I'm interested in. If you think about the machine as well, what, what is this machine? It's really just a router. It's a router that has the ability to move on axis based on a program. The actual skill in these machines is on the other end, is writing the programs and that's actually very, very demanding and it's, it's closer to an engineering kind of capacity than a woodworker. So that's where I talk about you know, the high learning curve is really on that side of it. I mean, if you were to ask me what's more important, um, I'll pose this question. Is it more important that I, as a guitar maker, cut these fret slots by hand or use the CNC? Or would it be, say, more important that I spread my own guitars? Because that's another thing that's really worth thinking about. And in my opinion, the latter has a massive impact on the quality. The, the, the spraying of the guitar and the finish has much, much greater quality than if this was cut with a, a cutter or a saw. Okay, so I'll just finish this little video by showing you the bridges. Um, the reason why I show you this really, and just to be open and honest about it, is this is pretty much a part that's made entirely on the CNC. It's, it's one of the exceptions. The um, first process of the bridge is to do the underface, which does these location holes as well. And then that pretty much goes on the machine, and what you get out is a finished bridge. So to be honest, that's, that's what comes off it, and it's, it's great. It's, it's beautifully shaped, ready to sand, and, and fit onto the guitar. And, and also be able to have these location holes helps improve the bridge placement as well at another stage. Um, so th that's about it really for the CNC. If anyone has any other questions about how I use the CNC and why I use it, you're more than welcome to email me. Email will be best to get me and uh, you'll find that on the website.